Ricardo Beretsky, expert on terrorism and global threats. Hi there, Ricardo. Thanks for being with us. I'm coming to you just a second. Before I do, just want to update our viewers and the news line just coming through about this to uh, update uh, the latest is now, according to a security source there, that uh, Burkina Faso security forces have, they say, completed officially now their operations against the jihadists. So maybe that uh, also includes the other hotel we're talking about across the road from the uh, uh, main scene of the attack today. Ricardo, thanks for staying with us. Now, th this attack then, let's just look at what's happened over the last 48 hours. Uh, this was in Burkina Faso Friday evening. Earlier that day, terrorists struck in Somalia. Uh, as I mentioned just now, two months ago, Mali was targeted. Is Africa, do you uh, worry, being consumed by uh, maybe a wave of terrorism that's engulfing it over from the Middle East, the same kind of thing? Well, we have warned two years ago uh, when we re completed our report on Africa that there's a growing threat in Africa. This threat is very uh, real. It's not been paid so much serious attention to as the same issue in the Middle East. The, the, we have to understand that Africa um, has a history of terrorism as a whole. And we have to pay attention that this uh, particular terror threat it is expanding their footprint, not only in West Africa, but will in the future also expand in the southern part. The reports that um, jihadists more and more from small African terror cells are starting to cross over to Islamic State these days. Begs the question, why is ISIL therefore uh, maybe more uh, appealing to them these days, do you think? Well, ISIL uh, has an interest in developing their footprint as an Islamic State. But we have to go back to the history of Africa and understand that there's an historical history when it comes to the expanding of this particular footprint long before ISIL came around. So, so we have to realize that the ISIL tree is, in fact, what we call a dual tree, an African tree and then also the Middle Eastern tree. Mm -hmm. What we have to pay attention here is, is that we have to seriously focus on a proper world order, right? If we don't focus on this, you know, it, it, the, the term justice and the law enforcement has to pay attention. We have to develop this radically and very fast in Africa. And this is lacking as it's systematically broken down. Mm. Well, so what, what can you do about it? It's easy to say, but what practical steps can be taken about it? And we're so early into this new year, we've already basically seen three attacks. I guess there's going to be more to come, yeah? Absolutely. We predict that this is, uh, we have said this last year and we will repeat this. From ESA's point of view, our analytical research indicates that this is only the beginning. Um, what we have to do is to keep accountable the leaders who is involved. These leaders, the African leaders, have to realize the fact that they sit in the African Union doesn't excuse them from responsibility. They have a responsibility towards not only Europe, but also the rest of the world and the international community. Why particularly are, are foreigners on the hit list here in these hotels? Well, as we know, in the last uh, two years, there's been a tremendous increase on targeting foreigners from Europe, in particular after the Charlie Hebdo attack. Now, season time is peak time. Africa is a cheap destination, it's easy to go, but the risks are very, very high and real. For tourists, we strongly advise there's better destinations at this point in time, but pay attention that the, the target on tourists is a methodical plan. So it's a strategic planning process that ISIL is uh, uh, continuing. Ricardo, thanks for your insight. Ricardo Bredsky, expert on terrorism and global threats, live and out international.